Hi everyone and welcome to the third video in our eBay item alert system thing with Python and in this video what we're going to be working on is actually how to send an email so for this one I've cut away all of the rest of our code and I'm just going to purely focus on how to send an email so anyone who's just jumping in at this point or just wants to learn how to send an email you'll totally be able to follow along shouldn't be an issue so first thing we're going to do is we're just going to import the different modules that we need and I will explain exactly what each is doing as we get to them. So the first one is from email dot mime dot multipart import mime multipart and then we're gonna do from email dot mime dot text import mime text and then on top of that we're going to import SMTP lib. This is the part that actually sends the message. These other two parts are kind of just giving us the formatting. And so the first thing we're going to do is message equals MIME multipart. And basically what this is doing is it's setting up the correct format for our message that we're going to email because it needs to have the correct um, the subject line, the to, the from, the body, all of the normal parts you have in an email. So that's basically giving us the template of what we need. And so after that, what we're going to do is we're going to start filling in those various fields. So we're good. We're going to fill in the from. That's just who is sending the email. And so that's going to be my little dummy email I set up at alerts at itconnected.tech and then we're going to do the to field which is where the email is going obviously and then I'm just gonna send it to myself and then after that what we're gonna do is we are going to save our password to use for later I actually have it in this folded code up here so what you're gonna want to do is password equals and then my password or whatever your password is but what I'm gonna do is I'm just gonna delete all of that because I already have it up higher so right there you just enter the password to your email and then what I'm going to do is we're going to add the subject line and so for us since we're doing this for our eBay item alert I'm gonna say item found so when we receive the email the subject line is gonna be item found with an exclamation mark and so after that we have to say what is actually gonna be in this message and so we'll start off with just a basic we found an item you might be interested in. And so when we send the email, that's going to be the body. And what we have to do now is we do message.attach and we attach our body. And so this MIME text thing puts it in the correct format that you want. So right now we're going to pass in body and we're going to tell it um, HTML. There is also the option to do plain text, but I highly recommend you do HTML because that lets you do an HTML based message, which means you can do headers you can do some styling stuff you can even put links in there which is going to be really valuable I'll show you how we do that after and so what I'm gonna do now is I'm gonna print out message and show you basically this entire thing that it's constructed and so if you look down here it made this entire message with all of this other stuff that we didn't put there and it is the correct format to send in an email so if we pass it off to SMTP lib then it's going to be in the correct format to actually send and have all the stuff in the correct place that we want so now 
what I am going to do is go back up to the body and I'm going to show that we can do ah ref for adding a link and what I'm going to do is add a link to eBay because that's what we're working with ebay.com and then I'm going to close that this goes on the inside and then that should be it so basically if you look here one thing you have to realize is that we have to have the um, URL within quotes when we do the ah ref and so um, I had to do um, close quotes open quotes again because we need the quotes to actually um, show up there and we need to also um, make sure that we have all of our quote quotes in line and so now we get to the part where we actually get to send the message so like I was saying we just do we have to open up a server and we call smt smtlib dot smtp and then what we're gonna do here is we tell it the server that we want to use for most people it's probably going to be something like smtp.gmail.com or something like that you can look it up on um, you can just google it or you can look around it's going to be in the setup information for if you're like setting up emailing on your phone or something like that they'll have the information there somewhere so you just have to figure out what their specific server is and then you also tell it the port number for most it's going to be 587 but your um, email provider might have changed it to something else so just double check that too but for most it's going to be 587 and then we're going to do server.starttls and this is going to actually start it up and um, make sure that everything is crypt encrypted with start dot or start TLS and then what we're gonna do is we're going to actually log in and so what we're gonna do with this is you pass in your username and your password and so what I'm gonna do is I'm just gonna take this message from from before hang on wrong spot and then you're going to also want to pass in your password and then after that what we're going to do now that we're logged in is we just actually send the message and so I'm going to take the from because we have to tell it where we're or who is sending it and then we're going to tell it who we want to send it to and then we're also going to pass in our message as a string and then after that we have to end our connection to the server and so I think we are ready to run so I can run this error somewhere let's check SM there we go SMTP there we go and so it should have run correctly and then I'll open up my email over here and you can see that we have one email item found we found an item you might be interested in and you can see that it's actually a link so I can click this and it opens up and we've got eBay so everything worked correctly that's basically our building block of how you send an email using Python in the next video I'm going to be showing how we plug in our own information dynamically so you might want a link specifically to um, a different page of eBay so specifically to the item that you want and I'm also going to show how you can <coughs> how you can um, kind of log the ones that you've already sent emails for so you don't just spam yourself with the same emails over and over again if you have an item that it thinks you might be interested in and it just keeps popping up and keeps sending you an email every time 
But other than that, that's it. Thanks for watching.